make room for two more at the kissing booth. Jacob Alordi went in for some adorable PDA with pal Tommy Dorfman on an outdoorsy trip this week. The Kissing Booth 2 star planted a kiss on the cheek of the Love in the Time of Corona actor and wrapped his arms around him while stopping for some coffee. They matched in jeans, white sneakers, and sweatshirts wrapped around their waists and got some more affection in as they placed their order. Tommy shared pics of their fun together on Instagram, including one of them boating on a lake and caption them with a simple heart. While the friends are clearly as tight as ever, there's nothing romantic here. Tommy is nearing four years of marriage with husband Peter Zirkelin. Jacob, meanwhile, was most recently romantically linked to his Euphoria co-star Zendaya. Tommy and Jacob's hangout on the lake comes as the Netflix star seems to be embracing the great outdoors in quarantine. Earlier this week, he showed off his skills with a bow and arrow. Before hanging with Tommy, Jacob had been having a busy quarantine, with the Kissing Booth sequel making its long-awaited debut on Netflix. He shot the film in South Africa last summer, coming right off months on the Euphoria set. He told Access Hollywood all about that crazy transition. Literally, I finished Euphoria after like two night shoots and then got on an airplane and flew to Africa. Um, so there was a dramatic shift there in sort of what I was doing mentally. Um, but there was a nice calm in, um, in going back to Africa and being able to settle into something you know, that I knew how to do and you know, knew what, what to expect and uh, with friends around and stuff like that. So. And as an actor, you just said it was two, two different projects. So how did you handle all of that? Uh, <laughs> I just winged it, you know? I just, um, there wasn't much I could do about it. Hey, so I kind of just, I feel like Africa was like a, uh, I feel like uh, a long um, a long sleep is going to be the wrong word, but I was so exhausted the entire shoot because I'd just come off essentially for eight months of filming that I kind of just, you know, then flew however many hours to Africa. I kind of just never really woke up, I don't think. I just kind of got through it, you know? Jacob actually shot The Kissing Booth 2 and The Kissing Booth 3 back to back. And the third and final film in the franchise is set to be released in 2021. Fans of Euphoria will likely have a bit longer to wait for season two. The cast hasn't started filming yet due to the pandemic, and Jacob doesn't know when they'll be back. No idea at all. Hey, it's just because um, it keeps changing in the US for you guys. Um, but oh, I would... are you in Australia? You got yeah. out of the US? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got out of there. Quick smart. Um, but li literally no idea. I could say next year, but then who knows what next year looks like. You know what I mean? Just no idea. Power's Where do you want to see your character in season two, though? I'm not too sure. We leave it at a pretty intense spot, you know. Um, there's so many ways that it could go. I just hope, um, I kind of hope that he doesn't grow. I hope that, uh, I hope that he kind of has to face himself a little bit more, you know what I mean? I don't want to just turn around and then that TV thing where he's suddenly a good guy. I would like for him because I feel like he's been running from a lot of stuff and it would be awesome to watch him just have to face himself one-on-one -on -one and, uh, and his issues, you know?